Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the city of San Luis Potosi, located in central Mexico. San Luis is not very popular with tourists from other countries, but let me tell you, this city is very beautiful. In fact, it has become one of my favorite cities in Mexico. So if you are planning to visit central Mexico, definitely give this city a go. In this video, I'll be showing you around San Luis Potosi. I'll give you some useful information you might need, places to eat, things to do, and everything you need to know about one of the most beautiful cities in Mexico. So are you ready? Let's get started. So I am in the historic center of San Luis Potosi and the architecture is very very beautiful and actually this historic center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the most beautiful and well preserved historic centers in Mexico. Now I'm going to talk about the weather because you know if you do plan to come here don't expect like you know Cancun weather if you come here in the winter maybe late fall or early spring it can get cold especially in the morning so you know just be prepared don't expect warm weather like some people think mexico you know every city is hot and humid and warm and that's not the case this city is cold uh, as you might be able to see people are wearing jackets sometimes even gloves and you know just like winter clothing because yeah it gets cold here so now let's go to the plaza de armas i really want to see that place Okay guys, so right now I'm in the Kiosco, so you know, every city in Mexico has pretty much the same layout in the historic center, so it would have, you know, the main square, in this case it's called Plaza de Armas, and you know, it has like a garden, and it's just like a place for people to come here and enjoy some street food, or you know, meet their friends or whatever, and also there is a kiosco, which is this place right here, you know, every city will have a kiosco and then in front it will have, you know, the main cathedral. So if you visit any city in Mexico, you will notice the same layout of the city, you know, the historic center will look pretty similar. So this is the main church of this city, La Catedral Metropolitana de San Luis Potosí. San Luis Potosí is known for its cathedral, La Catedral de San Luis Potosí. This is a Catholic cathedral and its construction began in 1670 and it was finished in 1730. The entrance is free of charge and it opens from 7 a.m. until 10 p.m. So as you guys can see, the architecture is beautiful in the historic center, I really like it. Now, one thing that you should know about this city is that this city is located right in the middle of the three most important cities in Mexico, which are Mexico City, Monterrey and Guadalajara. And because of the location of the city, uh, it has allowed the city to have a very good uh, trading and you know the economy of the city is you know growing year by year so that's why this city has become in recent years one of the most livable cities in mexico and i saw yesterday online that it's one of the most attractive cities for investors in mexico Now I am in one of the most beautiful squares that I found in this city. This is called Plaza del Carmen. There is this church and there are all these very, very beautiful buildings surrounding this uh, square. So I feel like this is definitely my favorite square in the city. There's a very beautiful fountain right in the middle. Also, if you want to take a, like a bus tour, you know, I feel like bus tours are, you know, a great way to discover a city. 
uh, you can actually uh, take that bus from this uh, square so there is a ice cream shop right there and you go there and you will purchase your ticket the last time i was here i took it and it was well worth it if you want to explore the city uh, I think that's the best way because you know you are in this bus and they take you to all the interesting spots that you must see and then you know because you're in the bus you can see which areas you would like to come back. So now I am in a place called Jardín de San Francisco de Asís. This square is very nice, it's like a garden, um, it's a very peaceful place. There are so many beautiful buildings and squares in the city. Now I see why this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Uh, this is definitely one of the most beautiful. It reminds me a little bit of Puebla, kind of, just because Puebla is also very colonial and it has a lot of churches and you know squares like this. It's like a combination between Puebla and Querétaro, kind of. Uh, it's very, very safe. Also, as I mentioned before, I've been walking a lot and I have never felt unsafe. This is one of my favorite areas in the city. Also, on this street, you will find a lot of very nice bars and rooftops. So if you're gonna have a drink and just relax after you know a day of walking, you should definitely come to this street. Also, there's a lot of vendors there, so you can find like a you know like a souvenir or things like that. There is a very nice restaurant that every blog recommends everywhere you know that I've researched everyone says that I must go there so I'm gonna go it's called Cafe Cortao it's a restaurant that is very near here and I'm actually very hungry so I can't wait to go there so that's where I'm gonna go next okay so the food just arrived and as you can see I have these uh, Enchilada de mole, I think those are beans. This looks like an egg. And then these are enchiladas potosinas, which I was talking about earlier. And this is a sope. So, wow, this looks really, really good. And they also bring you uh, bread and uh, this uh, coffee. All right, guys, that breakfast was amazing. One of the best breakfasts I've had in a long time. I highly recommend it. So now I want some dessert. So I'm gonna go to a chocolate place that is very popular here, which is called Constanzo. So I've seen this chocolate shop like everywhere in the historic center. So I feel like this is a very like a local thing, something that uh, you should try while you're here. And well, I went in this one uh, and the lady told me that this is like a, you know, like a bestseller. So I'm gonna try it. I think it has a cookie and it has chocolate. So let's see how it tastes like. Mmm, mmm. <gasps> wow. So it's cookies and then in the middle they have some sort of sweet thing. I'm not sure if it's cajeta or what it is, but it's like sweet in the middle. And then it's covered with chocolate. Mmm, it's good. So I had no idea that San Luis had a very vibrant art scene, but it does. It has very, very nice museums. I found these two that were actually my favorite, and they are next to each other. This one is called Centro de las Artes San Luis Potosí, and the other one is called Museo Leonora Carrington. If you come to San Luis Potosí, you cannot miss these museums. They were very, very nice, so I highly recommend going there.
Okay guys, I made it. I am in La Basílica Santuario de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe. A very popular landmark here is San Luis Potosí. If you are in the historic center, you will take this Casa de Guadalupe and you're gonna walk at least 15 minutes. Yeah, get ready to walk a lot when you are here. Uh, this city is pretty big, but it's very nice. You know, it's a very nice walk. There's a lot of trees. La Basílica Santuario de Nuestra Señora de Guadalupe is also one of the symbols of San Luis Potosí and one of my favorite churches in the city. This church was built by Felipe Clere. Its construction began in 1772 and it was finished in 1800. So I got hungry again and I came to another restaurant here in the historic center. This restaurant specializes in Mexican food, so I ordered sopa azteca. I love sopa azteca. It smells really good, so let's see how it tastes like. Mmm. It's so good. Mm. Mm. So this is chile piquín and it's very Mexican. We always put that in a margarita. So my second plate just arrived and I ordered camarones al coco. Uh, this is also a very uh, typical thing here in Mexico. <laughs> they are cute. <laughs> ah, they're warm. So let's see what it tastes like. They're pretty sweet. They're pretty sweet. Uh, the flavor is very good. Cool. They have so much flavor. Um, I can feel the coconut a little bit. Now I'm gonna try the white sauce. <laughs> this looks very sticky. This looks like I think it's coconut. I'm not sure. So now I am in a park, a very famous park here in San Luis Potosí, which is called Tangamanga Park. And there are a lot of things in this park. I'm gonna, you know, have a walk later. But first I want to check out this museum. This museum is called Laberinto de las Ciencias y las Artes. And well, apparently it's a very nice museum that I should check out. So I'm gonna go inside right now and see how it looks like. But this park is very very big, it's actually the second biggest park in Mexico. Now I am in a restaurant that was very highly recommended by locals. This restaurant is called El Mexico de Frida and it's Mexican food. The restaurant has very nice decoration, you know, very Mexican and the food looks very authentic, very, very Mexican. And I ordered uh, sopa azteca. I love sopa azteca. It's one of my favorites. And I also ordered uh, margarita de mango. Mmm. Mm. <coughs> It's spicy. So now I'm gonna try the soup and see how it tastes like. I think you have to put this in the soup, so I'm gonna put it. Mm. Okay, that soup was delicious. I really liked it. Uh, now I'm gonna try another plate. Uh, the guy told me that this is like a speciality of the place. This is a 
uh, chicken stuffed with uh, mushrooms and it has a creamy salsa and then next to it there are some uh, french fries this is how it looks like mmm mm. it's very good it's really really good it's a little bit sweet um, the cheese is melting look at this and then it has the mushrooms and it's very crunchy on the outside very good i highly recommend it if you come here you have to come very good very delicious uh, good service uh, lovely restaurant good decoration and the food is amazing So I just finished eating at Frida, that was very good, but this restaurant is next door and I really wanted to try it. This restaurant is called Tras Humante and it also came up as one of the best restaurants here in San Luis. So I really wanted to come here and well, I thought why not have dessert? I ordered a Volcán de Chocolate and it smells very good. So let's see how it tastes like. Wow, I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> mm. The texture, the flavor, everything is perfect. It's warm. Now I am in Lomas. This is the most exclusive area of San Luis Potosí. In front of me there is a mall called uh, Plaza San Luis which is a pretty big mall. I guess it's the biggest mall here in the city and the houses here look very different to the historic center. They look you know bigger and more expensive obviously. This is the expensive area of the city. Okay guys, we are finished. If you made it to the end, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video about San Luis Potosí. This city is great. I really enjoyed it. It has very good food. People are very friendly. It has a very nice weather. It was chilly sometimes, but you know, it was mild. Just like the weather in Mexico City. Just maybe a little bit colder, uh, but everything was so nice so San Luis Potosí you are an amazing city so much beauty in this place people are so lovely and everything was just great so if you haven't seen this city and you are visiting Mexico I highly recommend it did you like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel my name is Israel and I make travel videos I will see you guys on my next video take care and stay healthy